Aloha from the Ozarks, folks. I've got this 10 by 20 garden shed uh, that was just brought to me by Graceland. It's got the standard stain on the exterior of our T111 plywood siding. So that standard stain is called honey gold, not a paint. Uh, metal roof is green. Your metal roof comes with a 25 year warranty. Um, let's see here. T111 plywood siding. It's a little bit thicker than 5 8 inch plywood. Most competition out there that sells portable buildings, they don't use plywood. So you won't get a T111 plywood siding from them. But we do have plywood siding. Uh, and in fact, that's all that we use. Standard here is a two by three single pane window and another one over there. Your, your door is a standard size, 36 by 80. It's called a nine light for the nine little windows. It's a standard walk-in door. Let's go on inside this building. Oh, before I go in, I want to point out to you that we have these eaves on both the left and right side of the building and in it is a soffit ventilation system that is exclusive to Graceland and that's for improved airflow and I'll talk to you about that in a minute when we go inside. Let's take a look. So I'll stand over here in the corner and scroll around the building. This is what it looks like inside. It's a 10 by 20. Plywood in the walls, plywood in the floors. Uh, most of the other companies that build portable buildings do not offer a plywood wall. Ours are 5 8 inch plywood, pressure treated. In fact, all of the wood products that you're looking at are pressure treated and they come with a limited lifetime warranty. Okay, That means plywood in the floors, also pressure treated. All right. So let's talk about the walls. 2 by 4s are premium grade of lumber. It's the only grade of lumber that we buy. It costs us more money to buy the premium grade, but it gives you a better quality building. 2 by 4s are 16 inches apart, which is standard in the building trades, but not necessarily in the portable building industry. A lot of my competition spaces their 2 by 4 in the wall further apart at 24 inches, which means they use fewer 2 by 4s. But the more 2 by 4s in a wall, the stronger and sturdier the wall is. We use more because we put them closer together at 16 inches and we double reinforce them every third wall stud. So that's double reinforced, single, single, double. And that's the way it goes all the way around, all right? Every third wall stud is a double reinforced. Lots of two by fours. Single two by four at the bottom, double two by fours at the top. And I want you to pay attention to that. That double reinforced two by four at the top is not standard in portable buildings. It is standard if you're building a home. So if you're shopping around, take a look. Do they double reinforce at the top of the walls? We do. All right. So the walls are really well built. Windows are double reinforced framed. Okay. That's important for you to pay attention to because a lot of the competition out there does not double reinforce their windows or their door frames. And that means the doors and windows are going to flex when the building's moving and being brought to you and they may not open and shut properly. Ours will. Our door frames and window frames are going to stay square with the building because we double reinforce them to keep them strong. Okay, so keep that in mind. Well-built walls. Uh, let's talk about the roof. Your roof truss is a big triangle. It's shaped and you've probably never really paid attention to it before, but I'm going to ask you to look at this when you're shopping around. Find that baseboard of the triangle, the bottom board, and find out does it rest on top of the walls? That's the way it should be. But what you're going to find in the other companies is that bottom board of the roof truss is actually up higher and it does not rest on top of the walls which means their triangle structure is not as strong as our roof trusses are. This was the standard style of roof truss that you would see inside of a building. So uh, uh, something that's not a portable building, like a home, okay? And that's how we build them. So big strong triangle that you've probably never thought about before, but now I want you to pay attention to that when you're shopping around, okay? Two by fours in the roof trusses, just like in our walls, also premium grade. We attach the two by four, the roof trusses, to the tops of our walls. We used to use metal hurricane clips, but now we use a metal hurricane screw, which is twice as strong as our metal hurricane clips, to attach the roof truss. And what's the big deal about that? Uh, if a strong enough gust of wind comes along, it can pull the roof right off the building. All right, now that's true for any and all buildings, but standard in the building trades and the building industry is these metal hurricane clips to attach the roof trusses. And they're very, very strong. It allows us to offer a 150 mile an hour wind gust certification on our buildings. But we are now using metal hurricane screws, which are twice as strong as our metal hurricane clips. Okay, so that's a new uh, industry standard upgrade, at least in Graceland. I don't know if any other portable building companies are doing that. It costs them more to buy that material. Graceland is doing it because it gives us a better quality build for our customers. All right, so better quality roofs. Now standard in a roof is OSB roof decking. And then on the outside of the roof decking is our metal roof. Between the metal roof and the roof decking is a moisture barrier. 
On the inside of this particular building, we have applied our optional G-board radiant barrier roof. And that radiant barrier reflects out 97% of the sun's radiant heat. That makes a big difference in the hot summertime. And I mentioned to you when I was outside this, our aluminum soffit ventilation system that runs all along both side walls, so your left and right side walls of the building. That's for improved airflow, and that's a Graceland patented exclusive. The air comes in and then it goes out up here, our screened in roof ridge vent that runs the entire peak of the roof. So that air system, our soffit ventilation system, all works together to circulate the air in this building. Keeps the building 10, 15 degrees cooler in the hot summertime. And then when you add to it the fact that we've got the radiant barrier roof, that makes a big difference in summertime extreme temperatures. Now, flooring. 5 8 inch plywood flooring pressure treated and all of the plywood slabs are interlocked with each other using tongue and groove. And what's the big deal about that? And this, well, when you're shopping around, find out if the other people build their floors with plywood. They probably don't. And ask if they're using tongue and groove to interlock their slabs together. They may or may not. Tongue and groove is the only thing you want. If they don't use tongue and groove, you should walk away. Tongue and groove means each slab is interlocked. So if one slab tries to pull apart, it can't. The other slabs hold them together. If they're not using tongue and groove, one slab can pull apart from the others and then you gotta replace a slab and that's very, very uh, difficult. It's a pain in the butt. Tongue and groove is the only way you're gonna find in the, in the building industry, the building trades, that people do flooring. But in the portable building industry, they may not do it that way. It saves them money to not do tongue and groove. But that's the only way we do it. Okay, underneath our, sub, uh, our floor is the subfloor. Next thing to pay attention to. We use two by six floor joists. A lot of other companies use two by four wall studs for their floor joists. We do not. We use two by sixes. That's standard in the flooring industry for how you would do a subfloor. Our uh, two by six floor joists, like our wall studs, are 16 inches apart. We build a better subfloor, we build a better floor, we build better walls, better, better roof, and better framed up windows and doors. And we stand behind that better quality and better materials with a better warranty. Seven year warranty on workmanship, 25 year warranty on the roof, limited lifetime warranty on all of the treated wood products that you're looking at. It's pretty awesome when you combine all those things. Uh, most of the other competition that's out there can't touch what we're doing here at Graceland. All right, so if you're interested in this building, free delivery and setup is included within 50 miles of any dealer's lot, including my lot. And that free delivery and setup includes us bringing the building to your site. You provide the concrete blocks. We'll set up the blocks, set the building on top of the blocks, level the building, and then we will attempt to anchor the building at the four corners of the building like a mobile home would be anchored down. And that's part of the reason we are all offering, we have a 150 mile an hour wind gust certification on our buildings. All right, the cash price is the lowest price and there's a military discount available. So thank you for your service if you're active duty or um, retired, we appreciate that. And we offer a military discount. Um, cash price is the lowest price. We also have rent to own. No credit check rent to own. Three years, four years, or five years. There's no penalty to pay it off early. A lot of my competition offers rent to own, but they penalize you if, they, if you want to pay it off early. Graceland does not. So you pay off your building early. You do not have to keep making rental payments anymore. All right, so no penalty for prepayment. If you are interested in this building or maybe having a different one custom built for you, all you gotta do is contact me. So in this video description, please look at the video description because there'll be some links and my phone number will be there. You can call me or text me. I always encourage you to text me. If you call me after hours, I won't answer, but if you text me after hours, I still am very likely to answer you because I'm kind of a late night owl. All right, so you can text me or you can message me on Facebook. All of those links are included in the video description, so please take a look there. I also have a link to my YouTube Frequently Asked Questions page, all right? Plus, also a link to my website where you can see what's my current inventory and view other things that we make and have available, as well as you can chat with me through our chatbot Jarvis. Uh, so a lot of different ways to contact me, okay? Uh, of course, you're always welcome to come down to the lot and visit me face-to-face -face here at the lot and walk through any of my buildings. They're always open and available for you to look at. Uh, Aloha from the Ozarks.